The most common question I've been asked in the last few weeks around marketing activities is, does direct mail work in such an online driven world? The simple answer is yes, and that is what this week's recruitment marketing update is going to cover. Hi, I'm Sharon from Superfast Recruitment, and today's conversation then is about direct mail. Yes, it does work, provided that you adhere to some simple principles. Five of them I want to share with you today. The first one, and the most important one, because it really will influence the results that you get, is that you need to use direct mail to a warm, targeted list. What I mean by that is, you need to be sending direct mail to people who have already done business with you. Now that can be clients, that can be candidates. Also, it could include people who you're currently in conversation with. So they're familiar, they're in contact with you, they're engaged with you. That's the most important thing. Now, what often happens is people will invest a lot of money in glossy um, direct mails, send them out, and it's to a cold list. Now, when you do that, the consequences, the response rate can be as little as 0.5%, if not even less. Now, by focusing on direct mailing people who are familiar with you, who've already done business with you and bought from you, you can increase that response rate tenfold. So direct mail, send it to a warm targeted list. The second thing to remember is consistency. Often people will send out a direct mail and it's like a one-off. They get a low response because it's often to a cold list and then they wonder why it's not worked, so they write it off. The key thing to remember is it's about consistency. People want to know that they're in a relationship with you. And so even if you direct mail people once a quarter, then at least there's some consistency there. Now, interestingly, um, on Saturday morning, this dropped on my letterbox. Now, it's from a company that I buy skincare products from, and it's great because they email me every single week, usually on a Friday, and then once a month, that envelope lands on my, on my doormat. And, you know, there's a consistency there, because I, I sometimes find myself, if I'm, if I'm needing to order products, I'm, I'm maybe looking out for it. So it, it's interesting, isn't it, how it's caught my attention, and that's what you need to do with your direct mail. Now the third point is about um, the volume and testing. So often people send out huge numbers of direct mail as I've already mentioned. The most important thing here is to test. Test it on a small sample. Even if you just send out a hundred to your, your, your top 100 clients, let's say, see what kind of response that you get. And based on that, then increase the numbers. It's always got to be though to a warm list. So please do test, test and measure. It's one of the key things we talk about in marketing. The fourth point is about simplicity. Um, I showed you this, this envelope, you know, it's in a nice um, A5 coloured envelope, so it catches my attention and it stands out amongst all the white business envelopes um, that we often get. So you can keep it simple and you don't have to send out big glossy brochures. Because we get so few direct mails today, in comparison maybe to what we did many years ago, we, we do actually, and there's some good data to show this, that we're missing reading letters. So you, you can use um, you know, A4 paper, again, maybe use coloured paper that goes with the envelope, something related to your branding so it stands out. But you know, just A4 paper, a simple letter, it can be as effective. I think the final point to remember as well is always include a call to action. We are not investing in direct mail, you know, the printing of it and sending it out just for the good of our health, are we? We want a return on that investment. So always include a call to action. What do you want someone to do as a result of reading that letter that you've sent them? So in summary then, five things to remember. Always send direct mail to a warm list. Make sure that you're consistent with your mailing and you do, you do it regularly. Make sure that you test it on a small sample first. Simplicity, use coloured envelopes, make it stand out and always include a call to action. So good luck with your direct mail. I'm Sharon from Superfast Recruitment with a recruitment marketing update.